What is really interesting about this particular lineup of 18 athletes who took multiple paper classes in the early 1990s is that if, if you, you probably can't see them, but if you study carefully the GPAs they earned in regular courses, which you'll find here, other, other courses, 194, 19, 152, 175, 2.01, 171, 169, et cetera, you see that a lot of these guys had GPAs under 2.0 or, or in peril at least, uh, in danger of, of falling below 2.0. But then if you look how they were helped by the multiple courses they took with Julius Nangoro over here in the blue column, you can see that they're all in the high twos and low threes. So they're getting, they're getting Bs, B minuses, B pluses. Especially in the early 90s, they tended to stay away from A's, A's and A minuses. It was generally some sort of B that, that Julius and Debbie would hand out. But, but what happens, of course, when you combine a, a bunch of low, uh, you know, low performing courses with those higher performing courses is that it, it evens out okay in the end. And, and you get your GPA above the, the, the threshold where it needs to be. So, so in the end, um, even I can't see this very well. So I think, I think right, so here we have blue. Julius's GPA, other AFAM course GPAs, and, and, and uh, other courses, other, grades earned in other courses outside of AFRI AFAM. And, and anyway, you can see you can see how the courses functioned. And what's so striking about this, this group of 18 is that these were the first 18 players who were sent to Julius on more than one occasion. In other words, academic counselors realized that he was handing out gifts, and they sent these players to him time and again to get those gifts. And th those gifts elevated the GPA to the places where they need to be.